using the arts as an effective tool in healthcare uh, is a concept that I hadn't really explored much before reassembled. Uh, if I'm being honest, I, I viewed it as being on the fringe of what we do uh, and, and not to play mainstream. I, I'm sad to admit that I'm a, a hard-nosed scientist uh, and that's the background I've come from. Um, however, uh, as I got more involved with the project, uh, I realised the ability of it to affect how we think about our patients and to have a better understanding of our patients and to realise that it is really a very powerful educational tool uh, for people who have not been in that situation to help them to gain empathy with their patients and how they are looking after those patients. And so I began to realise this is actually a very powerful educational tool. I've spoken to various directors of education and encouraged them to come along and, and listen and to see and to see what role they feel it can have in, in education within the university. So for me, the highlight was just coming to that realisation that this was an incredibly effective way of communicating to a lot of people in the public how patients in this situation can feel. Um, and that it was something that would be useful across a, a generality of neurological uh, conditions. Uh, in terms of frequency, subdural empyema is, is very rare. However, in terms of frequency of patients becoming comatose from various different reasons and emerging from that, uh, that is common. Uh, stroke is a very common condition in our population and carers uh, are coping with patients emerging from stroke and uh, significant neurological disability every, every day in this city and other cities around the United Kingdom. And thus, uh, anything which helps us to better understand that and to help us as health professionals, however uncomfortable it may feel to immerse ourselves in what our patients are experiencing, I feel is, is a tremendous thing to be involved with. And to me, that's the highlight.